Ben and Jerry, the company, is gonna sue you. Well, wait, what the heck? Oh my gosh! Oh, oh, this poor little monkey right here. It's only got one eye. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my gosh, she's crazy. Whoa, come on, don't fight me, don't fight me. I knew I wasn't gonna get through this without losing some steak. I've been waiting, I didn't eat oh, lunch geez. today. Oh, she just took the knife, what, be careful. <laughs> you know how to use Good. that? Oh, whoa, hey! Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. Do you guys remember the Ben and Jerry t-shirts? Well, of course they were based off of Ben and Jerry, the king snakes that have two heads. You guys know that. They're doing really well, by the way. And a lot of people were telling me like, Brian, I can't believe you're using Ben and Jerry mice cream on your shirt. Ben and Jerry, the company, is gonna sue you. Well, as it turns out, they did reach out to me. They reached out to me a couple days ago, and honestly, they thought it was kind of funny. They used words like hysterical and stuff like that. We're Regardless, I don't know that they were super excited that we were branding mice cream or something like that, but they knew that it was all in good fun. And I wanted to fill you guys in because believe it or not, they're sending us a care package that's supposed to be here later today. So for those of you that thought that Ben and Jerry's was gonna sue us or something like that, well, it turned out that they actually kind of thought it was a cute thing and they're sending us some stuff. So we're pretty excited about that. Tell you what, there's only a handful of ball python clutches left to hatch. As a matter of fact, I counted the clutches today. 27 clutches left in the incubator, which still seems like a lot, but it's really at the tail end. And this is one of the third last clutches that we had, which is actually a pastel lesser clown ball python bred to a pastel leopard clown. We could potentially get some killer leopard lesser clowns, which would be absolutely incredible. Uh, this girl is great. She needs to get some food into her because she's still kind of a little bit thin, but that's going to work out. But listen, I have loved this year with clutches, so we'll still do some egg cutting clutches and stuff like that, but we have clutches still hatching almost every single day. Nice big blue. <laughs> <laughs> nice big beautiful clutch of ball pythons here this was actually a pinstripe female bred to a male fire bee and this was what a fire bee looks like right here it's actually a fire it's a pastel and it's a spider and i tell you what it's beautiful but you know what's even better than this two of them that's right we hit two of these beautiful monkeys right here and that fire just really cleans the bumblebee up basically what it is it's a fire bumblebee right the pastel and the spider and that fire really cleans it up you can kind of get an idea of what a normal bumblebee looks like right here looks really similar but you start to see a lot of that dirtiness in the sides and stuff like that as a bumblebee gets older it'll look dirty up a little bit the fire bees stay nice and clean so that's really cool then we actually just got a couple pinstripes this is actually a fire spider Again, same thing, just minus the pastel. Really absolutely beautiful. We got, of course, a dragonfly. So this is the fire pinstripe pastel. Really beautiful snake. Then, of course, we got this one right here, which is the fire spinner blast, which is the all gene animal. It's pinstripe, it's spider, it's fire, and it's pastel. Absolutely gorgeous. Then it looks like we've got just a couple fires here, just like some normal. Wait, what the heck? Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, this poor little monkey right here. It's only got one eye. It's missing its right eye. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna take a look and see. Looks like its left eye is okay. Maybe a little bit small too. Oh my God, it's so cute. Of course, we've had this happen before. It's not something that's common at all, but it is just a deformity that happens. You can see there's absolutely no eye in it on the right side. And on the left side, it looks like it has just a little bit of a smaller eye too. Other than that, it looks great. Its tongue response is really crazy, but that is insane. This is the first one. Remember a couple years ago we had a couple no-eyed snakes and a couple one-eyed snakes? This year we've had none of these types of mutations. This is the very first one-eyed snake that we've produced all year. And of course last year we hatched out Helen, the no-eyed albino ball python. And we really wanted to keep her, number one, because she was so cute and is a really truly amazing animal. But we also wanted to use her as an educational tool, right? The fact that, you know, with disabilities you can still thrive and do amazing. And it was weird because last year we had a handful of snakes that hatched out either with one eye or no eyes. Whereas this year, this was the very first one. Now, it can sometimes be congenital. In the case of Helen, might be the case, right? It's albino to albino, and sometimes with that type of pairing, you can produce no-eyed or one-eyed snakes. When it comes to this fireball python, it's just a random mutation that just happens that's probably not inherent at all. Nevertheless, we'll probably end up just keeping it as a pet. I think even Eric and Mary said that they might want to take it home and keep it, which is completely fine. But Helen is definitely one of the crowd favorites here when people come into the reptarium. You guys know that we have the little baby frillies and we have seven more eggs that are due to hatch here in a couple weeks. Lilith is over in the corner and she didn't really look that puffy to be honest with you, but she's starting to fill out a little bit. I'm just curious because normally they will have three to five clutches a year. She's only had two, so I just figured I'll go up here and see what she's got going on. Hey Nova, what's up buddy boy? What are you doing today? Look at Nova, he's just so absolutely incredible. You stay over here buddy. Lilith isn't nearly as friendly 
as he is, as you can see, but she's doing pretty good. I just want to give her, whoa, come on, Lilith. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my gosh, she's crazy. Whoa, come on, don't fight me, don't fight me. Okay, girl, I'm not, I'm trying, I'm trying, baby. It's okay, sweetheart. Look at her, she is crazy. Come on, girl. Woo, that's okay. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave her alone. I was able to just kind of feel her a little bit. I don't really feel any eggs in there, but look at how crazy she is. Whoa, oh my gosh. I tell you what, and I don't want her to bite me because to be honest with you, she could hurt her jaw more than it could hurt me. So I'm gonna go ahead and just leave her alone, get back on this cage. Nova, are you gonna be a daddy again? I love these little baby frillies. Not sure if she's gearing up for a third clutch or not. I'd say right now, probably not. But she's getting a little bit fatter, so next week or so, we'll go ahead and update you guys again. All too often in the vlog, I'm always showing you guys playing with animals and all the awesomeness, and don't get me wrong, that is an amazing part of my life. I love it, and the crew loves it as well. But I always wanna to continue to let you guys know that the majority of what we do here is maintenance. We clean, we feed, we take care of the animals, and then we have some time to play with them. And without an amazing crew like I have, I wouldn't be able to play with them as much as I do. down to the nitty gritty when it comes to clubber clutches. Not too many more left to hatch. And this is a really unusual result from this breeding. This was actually a snow corn bred to a snow sun kiss, or at least that's what they said that they bred. So something was wacky, because what we have here is a bunch of just normal albino corn snakes, a melanistic corn snakes. Uh-oh. All right, I'm gonna try to stay calm. I'm gonna try to stay calm. Calm, 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 calm. Okay, calm, 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 calm. Okay, good. I would have expected a bunch of snow corns, possibly even some snow sun kiss corns in there, but regardless, that's what we got. Oh, it looks like we have another little scaleless corn snake clutch. Looks like we got one or two more eggs to hatch, but oh, gosh. I knew I wasn't gonna get through this without losing some snakes. Come on, stay in there, buddy. But here we have a beautiful, oh, oh my gosh, oh no. <laughs> oh my gosh. Here we go. Here we go, stay in there, buddy. Stay in there, stay in there, stay in there, stay in there. Let's see if I can't get this shot. So here we have a beautiful scaleless corn snake here. Probably one of the last scaleless corn snakes that we're gonna hatch for the year, to be honest with you. I think this is the last scaleless clutch, but I might be wrong. There might be one or two left. I'm not 100% sure. Regardless, we had an amazing scaleless corn snake here, and it's gonna be a bummer when we're done hatching colubrids for sure. And hey, listen, brumation is literally only about a month or five weeks away, so it is getting to that time of the year. Can't believe how quickly this summer went, that's for sure. But nevertheless, some beautiful little baby colubrids hatched out today. Night Fury in a soak here, and he's just got a little bit of shed still left on him. And a lot of people think that it can be a bad thing to help an animal shed. Well, the thing is, you don't want to help them shed when they aren't supposed to shed. If they're already supposed to have shed, you can soak them and you can help rub that shed off. It's not bad. I don't know why people think that. Absolutely, if you take the shed off too early, it can be an issue. But as long as it's ready to come off and it's already 80% shed out, to put it in soak and help that last 20% off, that's not a problem at all. So let's go ahead and see if I can get this off. So let's go Go ahead and see if we can get so let's go so let's go ahead and see if we can get night oh no, my god so let's go ahead and see if we can get night fury so let's go ahead and see if we can get night fury looking beautiful So we have a tour in the house, and you're from Hawaii, Texas, all over the world. A little bit of everywhere. A little bit of everywhere. You're up, and uh, I've got some Michiganders in the house. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, who else? Anyone else? Texas. Texas, just Texas. Texas over there, too. All right, cool. All right, we're going to have a good time. Let's go. Oh, I've been waiting. I didn't even oh, eat geez. lunch today. Oh, she just took the knife. What? Be careful. I know how to use <laughs> that. These are oh, for whoa. me. Hey! 
Okay, you can have oh. the ice cream. <laughs> God almighty, dude. All right, so obviously Ben and Jerry sent us some stuff. Okay. Let's see what we got What's here. that say? What's that say? It's just about dry ice. It, yeah, it says don't touch it. Don't touch the dry ice. Woo! Okay, ben and Jerry, let's see what we got here. Oh, baby. Fish food. New York Super Fudge Chunk. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. Let me get that. Oh, it's my favorite. Oh, I to try chocolate fudge brownie. The <laughs> Oh my oh. god. And a chocolate fudge brownie pint. Shout oh, out to school. Ben oh. and Jerry's. Oh, like oh, just... oh, a pint cozy. Pint cozy! Oh, oh, my god. Because I everybody know. knows this is single serving. And now oh, it, this goes around it. We this got it. Awesome. Food? They gave us spoons. <laughs> they gave us spoons. Oh my god, these are great. I, these are amazing ice cream spoons. Look at oh that. Oh my gosh, they are literally. <laughs> were they ceramic? Yes. Oh my god, this that is, is so awesome. exciting. This is the best. And then of course, oh, well, those shoots are awesome. Oh my gosh, look at that <laughs> Jerry. Those are sweet. Oh my gosh. I like All right, those. so there you go. I awesome. tell you what, I, I already love Ben and Jerry's, but uh, now, you know, they're definitely my all time favorite. This is, this I think is Laura, or this is yours. Oh yeah, thank you. Laura, you didn't get one, sorry. <laughs> That's fine, because this is No! <laughs> hey, wait a second, wait a second. This I'm is taking the no, look at that. No, have fun with the shirts. I'm keeping the spoon. <laughs> so, so I tell you, I think the lesson that I'm taking out of this more than anything is that you know big companies like Ben and Jerry's, rather than being jerks, are, are awesome. They reach out to you and they're just like, let yeah. us help you promote your product. So you know, so if you're starting a small business or you have a business, think about Eric. You f it up. <laughs> So if you have a small business or if you're, you know, running a big business or whatever, just take that into account. Instead of, you know, thinking like, I'm going to sue them, you know, help them promote you. I mean, because look, we're doing a whole thing on Ben and Jerry's because they're so awesome. And uh, Thank you, Ben. So I think, oh. uh, I think we're going to go eat some ice cream now, huh? I'm ready. No, you're right. going to wear a shirt. I'm not going to eat that ice cream. <laughs> have right. fun with the shirts. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. <laughs> no, but seriously, ben, ben and Jerry's, you guys are awesome. Thank you. I have to show you guys some of the stuff we're raising up because why wouldn't you want to see that, right? There's pretty cool colubrids up here. I know. It's a lot of ball pythons, but there are colubrids too, so let me show you some. First thing right out of the gate, where am I? <laughs> this one's really cool. I never actually knew about these snakes until I started working here. It's a Mex Mex, you know, king snake, but this one's a granite Mex Mex, so just a little bit of different pattern on there. It'll get a decent size, but not massive. Some of the adults that we have here are probably around three foot or so, and uh, they're egg layers. Really cool snake. I just how could you not like that look at those reds and grays this little one's a male we've got a few other females coming up but this one is just look at that man all right next up is an albino uh, so next up is uh we have some of these albino gopher snakes these things are sweet i've got a sonoran at home doesn't look anything like this in my opinion the uh, albino gophers and the bulls there's nothing prettier albino colubrid out there. Look at this thing, it's crazy. Just even like the head pattern and this purple and red, I just really can't wait to raise these guys up. The gophers stay a little bit smaller than like your bull snakes would. The bull snakes get pretty big actually. But are these guys, you know, anywhere from three to six feet, just can't wait to work with them. They're pretty fast growing. You know, we try and feed them at least twice a week here. They'll definitely explode in size. Really excited for this project. Next up, we got this little Gonai king snake here they really remind me of uh, just your your typical little crazy king snake really crazy food response kind of like a Brooks King or something like that you kind of compare it to look at that color that's sweet it's got the blacks the oranges the yellows in there and uh, just a really cool kind of easy raising colubrid that we have I mean he likes to eat food and just kind of chill so I can relate no I'm really excited these guys get pretty big they'll get pretty girthy pretty long I would say six plus feet uh, we have a pretty big female here right now now, but I'm really excited to work with these guys. This one's from last year, another year, so we'll be pairing them up. It's totally bizarre to hatch an animal that only has one eye. The good news is, is the majority of them really do well, so we're excited to go ahead and see what the animal does in the future. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. As a matter of fact, if you like that, right over here is when I hatched Helen, the no-eyed snake. Here's a playlist that has a whole bunch of cool hatchlings that I have going on. Hit that subscribe button over here and turn those post notifications on. Make sure you have a wonderful day and be kind while you're doing it. I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow.